Okay, so um, this is day 37, I believe. Let me double check. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, okay, admittedly, I'm doing this the next day. Um, might do two today. Um, one in the morning, one at night. Um, I had a bit of a crisis yesterday. Um, feeling very negative about art. I was trying to do the exercise of, you know, you draw a random shape and then what do you see? And maybe I don't have a very good mind's eye, I guess. So I'm looking at this shape and... Yeah, I just blanked out and I got really depressed. I mean, the only thing I could really see was... Um, I guess was like a a game controller, uh, game controller, um, then again it really does look like one, um, you can even add the pads there, um, or, you know, like a dog, um, but then I'm like, what is the rest of this? And yeah, it just, it made me really depressed. Um, I was practicing during my lunch, during work yesterday. And yeah, it made me depressed for the rest of the day until I, I did. Um, I did manage to um, get more positive at the end of the day. I did manage to do some stuff in my sketchbook, which I won't show. I was just drawing birds. Um, because I thought about what what makes, what am I confident about drawing and like basic bird shape I'm pretty confident about. You know I can do, you can do the, the chubby bird shape. Um, that's the first bird I drew. Uh, <laughs> the very rushed version. You can do a little there. Um, or doing the. Where you cut off there, and then that, and I had previously practiced doing the, from one of the Skillshare videos, I previously practiced doing the, the toucan shape, so I was pretty confident about that, um, especially doing like a cartoonified shape, um, I'm rushing all my lines because I can't talk and draw at the same time, I'm learning, um, but I don't want these videos just to be silent, so I gotta figure out what to do. I think I'm just gonna try to talk about something random while I draw. Um, not focusing, trying not to focus too much on what I'm drawing. Because it just, I, I overly fixate on what I'm drawing in that case, and then it's not good. I'm also decided to do the whole screen of Clipart Studio because decided it's much easier, especially if I have the webcam, I can, oh, I'm covering up some layers, ooh, no, but I can also do that, um, I mean, do that and expand, um, so, yeah, anyway, um, I thought what I'd do today is I'd look at one of my favorite artists, um, Adachi Mitsuru. So let's see if we can grab this. Can we make it bigger? Okay. So Adachi Mitsuru is not so much for his art, I guess, for the story. I think it's very, compared to other manga of the same genre, It's it's got a lot of gags, a lot of funny stuff, but, I mean, a lot of the interpersonal relationships are a lot more subdued. Um, it's not like, oops, I fell on top of you. Oh, uh, so dramatic. Maybe it has that occasionally, but not as much. Um, and I think the proportions for people are a bit more realistic in terms of women. Um, you know, a uh, teenage girl has, a, I guess, like teenage girl proportions, as opposed to like, whoa, or like a Nami sort of one piece situation where, where it's like, it's like, whoa. Ooh, I can't even draw. What am I set to? Oh, okay, I'm set to that one. It's like Nami became like, like <laughs> she became a snake. Uh, came like that. 
I'm Nami. Um, yeah, so, yeah, um, some things I'm, I'm not a big, quite as big a fan of, like, the ear size and maybe the, the way the jaw goes down, but I like the simplified style, and yeah, I thought I'd practice that today. How can I practice it? Um, I do want to do, like, the upside down practice, but I don't think, uh, I think black and white picture is better suited for that and I think um is I th I, there's probably a way I can make the layer um like black and white probably um oops let's see what we have here um oh wait oh, oh that's something um that's edge color I don't need that that's freaky. Um, I mean, that kind of does it, but there, that's kind of like monochrome. But, hmm, I don't think it's a good, I think doing that upside down practice is better with like a line picture. That's pure lines. Um, so, um, Anyway, um, yeah, so I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do, um, just going to see if I can imitate some of his style choices. Um, I'll practice bit by bit. So, okay. Yeah, with the hair style, he does do like a bit of like a, a chunky hair. Even with like Minami, it's a very you know, outline has, often has, for his stylized pictures, he has some, like, watercolor type shading, um, which I think is nice. I like it. Um, okay, yeah. My old laptop is shedding. That's not a good sign. Um, so I've been talking long enough. I'm gonna get into it and just start talking about, um, okay, so... Let's see, let's do a, uh, what, the, like, red lining? Okay, so, do it in the pencil, um, let's go with red. Okay, so, I think, uh, let's go, let's go in closer. Because I'm not good at precise movements when I'm on video because it freaks me out. Um, maybe I can get like a tip to make it a bit smoother. Um, but let's see. So. We got the basic angle of the face. Very angular face. Like, I mean, my face, it's like straight this way and then it curves. His heads don't really do that. Um for his main character. Some of the side characters, I think Harada, 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 um, the boxer from Touch, I think he does have more of a straight and then stronger jaw, but that's just from me trying to remember. So, the eyes, he does like a, yeah, he has like the clear top of the eye. That eyebrow is in there. Oops. Let's go with judging from where we can see the eyebrow. So yeah, and then going full, full, maybe, I guess, I think this is Tatsuya, yep. Hmm, yeah, it's definitely a Tatsuya. Um, if it's from Touch, if it was from any any Adachi Mitsuda manga, it'd be a pretty difficult choice to tell. I shaved today, so I feel naked. Um, and the bright light coming from this way. Be good for like a silhouette draw drawing of myself. I, okay, anyway. Um... Yeah, so his nose is... So sometimes he does, he just does little nines. If it's like a side, he does more of like a pointed 
like that. Um, I was saying for one of his um, like more painterly uh, ones of Minami, he just does like the shadow under her nose like that. Um, but let's follow this. He's got a tiny mouth in this one. Um, yeah, this. Yeah, he definitely looks surprised here. And you know the ears. Yeah, the ears usually, they follow like a line and then they go to like before that bottom angle change for the jaw. And then the hair, the hair is just a big poof. He's got a little bit there, shows colic. Okay. I'm going to start from this side because that's, you know, it's easier to pull towards you, but I feel like all these years of being left-handed and trying to write the correct, the correct way has made it easier for me to go that way. Um, especially because I guess I can see what's underneath. I think I need, I think what I need to do is practice holding like farther away from the from the tip, I think would help me. Okay. One thing I have trouble with a lot when I'm drawing is like what to do with the hair in the front and with hair in general. I usually just go, oh, he's got hairs going down, uh, down like that, then got a colic here and then do, 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 do. Um, so, I mean, I think sideburns were a bit more popular when Adachi Mitsuru was doing um, touch. Um, even got some like hair hanging out in the back. Um, probably going down like that. Um, so let's see. Um, yeah. I think that's a pretty good tracing. I got all the important stuff. Um, so, if I try to copy this, let's see. Is there any shapes I can find? I'm, I think the issue, I'm, I'm really, I'm a lot better at finding shapes in animals than people. Um, my question is, you know, you draw the circle, do you do it like that? Do you cut off the sides and then do it from there? Um, or, I mean, the most important thing is getting that outer shape correct. So you start off with that. Uh, Getting that outer shape correct. That's uh, okay. Doing it quick. <laughs> I think that that's. For how much time I just spent on it, I think that's not that bad. <laughs> um, it looks bad, but it's not. It's not that bad. Okay, I should have done that on a new layer, so I could didn't have to do it like this. Okay, there we go. Um, new layer. Okay. Okay. Because so, we got the general, the, like the general hair shape is pretty round. Um, And then we got those coming down about equally. And then, okay. You can already tell that my jaw is not pointy enough compared to. That's why I think maybe when starting with his style, I should, should be starting with 
the main identifiable shape, which I think is that general face shape right there, and then modify it, because I, then I know how the ears go, the hair. It's a pretty round shape. Get those basic lines in. He's got, he's got some sideburns going on. With his eyes. So I think it's so like if that keeps going. <laughs> My eyes are too close together. It's definitely a problem. Okay. Okay, so <sighs> Hmm, yeah, see so I I want to go straight, but he curves out more so you can tell that his his curves out more little bit my a lot of my placement is pretty accurate the eyes the eyes are too low the eyes start like above that's what's weird about it yeah what's weird about his art I mean like at this angle yeah the eye the ears like start below like like here on the eye which I guess it's like this angle. It's not going like straight on. Usually it's more like that. Um, what's his face like? Like that? Hmm. Anyway, um, let's erase my, let's, let's hide this again. Let's erase mine and let's try again. And let me switch to black, okay. Um, let's see, mechanical pencil, no, pencil, yeah, let's go with pencil, um, let's go with size, 25, no, um, let's go with a, let's go with a 5, 5, okay. So. I think that might be like a little too wide. And then uh, I changed my mind. Uh, yeah, I want darker lines. Okay. I think one thing I need practice is getting my, you know, getting equal angles. Like, are those equal angles? Let's see. Hmm. Like if I, let's see, let's go, like if I select it, um, a lot of nonsense today. <laughs> um, let's see, select. No, um, hmm. Now I'll figure that out later. Anyway, um, deselect. Um, let's erase that. Go back to there. Okay. Now. Oh no, 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 no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. Okay. So. And then got the basic hair. It's basically like a circle for him. Okay. Got the ear, got the ear. Um, oops. 
get rid of that extra line. Um, line going up. So here, oops, a little bit of the sideburns going down. Same with here. Can't see the front of the ear. But you can see that line going there. Okay. Or I just added that line. Either way. Okay. Keeping the eyebrows visible, which he did it he didn't do what I'm gonna do for mine. Again, I did a little, the eyes a little bit too low. I think that's better. Okay, going there. Um. could be more careful with the hair because it looks like just like a fro right now but um battery charging is complete thank you i don't know if you can hear the sound but i think due to me changing the settings of just displaying clip studio i don't think you'll be seeing that okay yeah that that's pretty tatsia um I think the next challenge I want to do is seeing if I can do myself in this style. So, um, though this is his teen style, his adult style, like adults look pretty different, but I don't want to do myself as, as an adult, even though I'm 34 year old man. Okay, um, well, let's not get rid of that, let's keep that, um, but let's hide it. Um, hmm. Let's do a little bit more straight. Okay. Let's keep that. And for the hair, the hair's going like that, hiding that. Hairs, let's see, let's see. Um, yeah, I got some going on down to there. So, hide that, hide that. Um, okay, wait, why are you saying, oh, it, why did, oh, I accidentally hit the, another layer with my glove. Okay, so his hair goes like there, so I, th so I think his brow line would be like there, so. Um, Um, I think it would just be pretty straight. Um, my, dang it, I did it again. Okay. Just hide you, there we go. That makes it easier. Okay. And, let's see. So, hmm. Hmm. Let's go with straighter eyebrows. This is the sketching part, so I shouldn't be caring so much. Um, but I, I am. Okay. Um. I think a difference would be, I think I definitely want my 
top of my eye line to be touching. Um, okay, so for the nose, if you just do a little, I mean, I think I should do a bit of, a bit more. Um, yeah, I think I can fix the jaw a little bit. I'll do that outside of this video, maybe. Or actually, I, my videos have gone 30 minutes. Nobody watches it, so it doesn't matter. So let's do... Okay, I'm feeling positive today, so... Um, let's just reduce the opacity. Um, I usually bl make it blue, but no, I'm just going to keep it. And let's, let's see, what do I... Okay. Um, let's switch to G pad. Oops. Need to be on a new layer. And what size are we at? 12. Let's go with 5. Let's match. I gotta match the style, make it curve in a little bit more. Maybe go, yeah, less of a less of a pointy chin. And I want the sides to be more equal. And I think I'm better at judging that when it's at when it's sideways, as opposed to sideways. I mean, this way, as opposed to this way. Right, yeah, sideways instead of right ways. That's how I'll word it. Um, yeah, so... I think that stuff's good. Um, the e let's see, the eyes. Eyebrows. Hmm. What I could do is, going back to this layer, what do I think is uneven about it? Let's flip it. Yeah, so it's definitely not even. Um, it's favoring favoring the side the nose is pointing to is shorter though I mean that would be correct thinking about it logically um, like if I flip this one I think I fixed it a little bit but it's fine it's fine hashtag don't flip your art okay okay let's go back at an angle go back to the new layer Okay, the eye. The eye is more that I need a more of a teardrop. Not that's it's more of a teardrop shape. I want. Accidentally hit the layer again. Um. Hmm. Okay, it sees everything working okay still. I got like a beep, like something disconnected. Okay, so... You know, I should just move that stuff over to the other side, because I'm left-handed. Um, yeah, it's good enough. My hair, my hair does go to that side naturally, so 
I'm going to stick with that just like his does in his version. And hair going down a little bit this way, but then um, he like flex it out like that. So that's what I'll do um, for mine. Um, the ears. I want the ears to match. Let's go. Let's deviate a little bit. I want the ears a little bit higher. Okay. And let's get rid of that. That's not that bad. Wait, does. Yeah, he does have some lines going in his ears. Okay. There, that's Adam Adachi Mitsuru style as a teenager, even though I didn't have this hair as a teenager. I'm happy with the hair, um, especially this side as opposed to this side. Um, hmm, 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 hmm. Well, anyway, thank you for watching, and have a nice day. Thank you, Adam. Bye, Adam. Boop.